Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Halloween special. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this eerie clone effect using two separate techniques. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. So to achieve this effect, I've shot three separate videos of the same length in the same location. When shooting, it's important to set your camera up on a tripod and fix the position for all three shots. Also make sure you have shots where your background does not change very much, as otherwise it will look a bit strange. Another factor is shadows from the sun. That's why I shot the clips at close proximity to each other. You will also need to pay close attention to how you stage the action, such as being mindful of spacing your action out on screen. The reason for this is we are going to utilise a crop effect, so we need to make sure the clips don't interfere with each other. You can see how I've spaced out my action. I've got the first clip with me going down the centre, the second clip down the right, and the third clip down the left. We're now going to arrange each of the clips onto different tracks, like so. We can then go over to the crop and we'll do a left clock crop and then a right crop. For the first one we need to crop both sides, otherwise it will obscure the bottom layer. We now go to the next clip down and for this we just need a left crop. Let's have a look at those results. It's not going full frame as my computer's a little slow, however when rendered it will be fine, but it looks a cool effect, I think. In some ways I think we were lucky with this example, as it was even lighting and the nature of the setting makes blending easy, as you can't really notice any lines or shadows between the cropped clips. Let's now look at what we do if there are lines present in another example. Here is an example of my living room where I deliberately shot two videos some time apart. By doing this I was hoping for variance in lighting and the appearance of a visible line. You will see that a line is indeed visible but I have to apologise as I didn't realise the ISO setting on the camera was cranked right up so it's a little bit grainy but it suffices for demonstration purposes. Let's have a look at the two clips. You see the first one is shot nearer to the camera and the second one has me walking from the back of the room towards the camera. Like before we arrange the clips on different tracks and we just need a left crop here. And you can see I'm revealed. Let's zoom in there. And we're going to see if we can see the line. If I roll it backwards and forwards, hopefully you can see that. I know it's a bit difficult to see on this small screen. If you can't see it, here's a still. Even close up you can see it's not really that bad. If it was really bad and noticeable um, you go into the colour panel and you'd tweak it in there. But in our case it's really really easy. We can do this in the edit page. So we just go to the softness and we tweak that a little bit and that should be sorted. Let's have a look at the finished video.
That concludes the tutorial. If you enjoyed this Halloween special, please take the time to comment below, subscribe and let me know what other videos you would like to see.